His Majesty King Mswati III attended the closing ceremony of the summit. The summit was closed by the President of the Republic of Guinea, Alpha Conde, who commended leaders for holding the summit in an environment of solidarity and a common purpose to find solutions to challenges facing the continent. He said reforms which are due to take place in the Union will strengthen Africa's voice and fast-track the implementation of programs, further assuring that leaders agreed that the youth will be given access to decision-making forums. It is important uh, that we should consult. It is important we should avoid uh, taking individual positions, uh, but that we should consult always. Meanwhile, the summit was a big success. It made deliberations on several key issues that included financing the union and institutional reforms. The two-day summit also tackled issues regarding peace and security on the continent, further focusing on a number of African countries where violence still exists. Another highlight was President Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe, who handed over a check of one million U.S. dollars into the African Union after he and his supporters sold 300 kekli in support of the continental body. Mugabe, who was chairperson from 2015 to 2016, has often called for the body to be self-funded. In 2020, His Majesty will become the chairperson of the African Union and will lead from the front in addressing challenges facing the continent. These include health issues such as combating malaria and HIV and AIDS, political issues such as mediating in many civil wars and improving the standard of living of 1.2 billion people. Inkoska Adilama Gongwa attended the closing session of the African First Ladies Against HIV and AIDS. Ingosigati and First Ladies discussed issues such as the role of African ladies in facilitating health investments from private sectors. They agreed that the wealth of the continent lies in its young people as 60% of its population is 24 years and below, further recognizing that meeting the needs of adolescents is key to achieving the Africa we need as envisioned in Agenda 2063. Reporting for Sazi TV News, I'm Sandila Makanya with Zulema Sugu in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.